Hey, what's up everybody? It's September 28th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. We're getting some, some thunderstorms. It's pretty nice. Some really loud thunder as well. So we're gonna kind of take a shortcut towards the area where I thought I heard it coming from. Right now we're on Big Bear Boulevard and coming up to Fox Farm Road. Kind of a shortcut you guys can take to get from the end of Big Bear Lake into Big Bear City without taking the main the main highway. But then you'll get stuck behind someone going 15. All of you are doing well. Living a stress-free life, healthy life. But if you guys keep looking straight ahead, you hear that? So we'll be headed that way. Wow, that was really cool. I was almost, almost right above us. I know you all are waiting for winter. It's, it's almost here. It's going to be here faster than you think could start getting snow this next month so fingers crossed we do Thunder was coming from right here. It doesn't look like that developed of clouds up, up above us, but it's, it's where it's coming from right there. So we're gonna continue the shortcut all the way to the other side of Big Bear City take a street called Sugarloaf. Okay, so right, I, I haven't been telling you guys what streets we're on because I didn't think about the fact that I was going to be giving you guys the shortcut again, but yeah. I know a lot of the locals don't like me because of this particular reason. Because I give you guys shortcuts, but I'm expecting you guys not to speed through the neighborhoods and just to be, be respectful, just like you guys are. So I'm not worried about it. Why wouldn't I want to help you guys out? These locals need, need to remember that without you tourists, none of us can live up here. So I think the attitude needs to change a little bit. Um, obviously I can understand if they don't want people trashing the place and driving fast on these, on, on these little streets and the circus streets, but you know, I, as I said, I trust you guys are responsible and, and good people who aren't going to drive fast in these neighborhoods. You're not going to kill any children you're, or pets. You're just going to 
be as respectful as you are. That's why I have no problem showing you guys all these shortcuts, which will save you potentially in the wintertime hours. I'm serious, hours. Many of you aren't going to have the need to be going back and forth like me, so you're probably not going to need this too much. But if you do, this is how this street will sometimes look like in the wintertime, completely empty, and Big Bear Boulevard will be backed up. But in the wintertime, this street will have more cars on it for sure. But it's still, there's no traffic. It's kind of a lot of people in town for a Wednesday. I'm, I'm wondering what's going on. So it looks like we got, you know, it looks like we got more storminess out that way. We're gonna go out that way. Doesn't it look stormy over there? Yeah. We'll just head this way a little bit and then we'll go up on the North Shore and come back home. to go this way because now you're starting to see some more rain. So, I don't know if this is like a monsoon type storm or what. I don't know where it's coming from. I do know that they predicted this a week ago. I'm noticing a few different things recently. One, the weather forecasting is actually a little more on lately. And two, we're getting a lot more precipitation this season than I think we've had all seasons I've lived here combined. And this is my, this is my seventh, no, this is my eighth, uh, just fall and winter time. So I'm really looking forward to it. I, I'm hoping we get a lot of weather this time, this this year, like a lot of feet of snow. I think that would be awesome. I just love driving in it. I love making the videos for you guys. It's just it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun because I get to drive on the snow and ice and slide around. Like it's it's a lot of fun. And I have snow tires, and it just makes everything so much so much better. That's the airport. Looking out into the clear skies over Big Bear Lake. Some thunder over there, it's really coming down over there. So I got my windshield replaced on my Subaru and it's it's awesome because it's just there aren't any little kits in it or anything. They replaced my windshield wipers also at the safe light, so so everything's uh it looks great. 
It looks great. I think for the camera, it'll be really great too. I remember when I got that in 2019. I got it like the day before our first snowstorm. It's crazy. Because my Saturn broke down, I didn't have anything to drive. And I was worried that I was like, I'm gonna walk around and do, do my videos for a little bit. Alright, so yeah, it is getting heavier out here towards Baldwin, so we're just gonna go through Baldwin and come back.
that's what that button's for. So you stop that when, when like everything's on. So just in case you're ever sitting here and it's getting super hot and you don't want your bike to get off, go ahead. I, I'm sure you want to do that. So. I just thought that it recycled the air from the inside or brought the air from the outside. I didn't know it had to do with temperature. So it, it does recycle the air on the inside when you have it on. But I didn't know it had to be in the temperature as well. No, all it does is just shut off the access from the outside from the inside. That's all it does. And that forces the air inside to recycle through circulate and also it makes it so this this hot air one doesn't But if it was cold air, somehow, well, obviously it's going through the engine, so it's not going to be cold. But. Yeah, I always wondered why my car kept on blowing air. I didn't know why, because I had it off. But it kept on shooting in hot air, and then I figured out it's because I didn't have it on the recirculation feature.
so now we're on that Shea Road, as I told you at the beginning of Baldwin Lake Bull or Baldwin Lake Road. It's a Shea Road now. And they have some really nice houses on, on either side of the street on Shea Road. This town actually does have a lot of really nice houses. And it seems like most of them are, are people's second, third homes. Those are empty.
All right, so this, this road right here separates Big Bear City from Big Bear Lake. It divides us. think if you watched this far did we just have that put in recently or has that always been there I don't think it's always been there I didn't go too crazy. I just got a burger and fries, but it was actually pretty darn good. And then I, I realized they had a salad bar that had everything that I could dream of. So I was stoked. And it's just right here. It's like right next to my house and I haven't eaten there in the whole eight years or seven plus years that I've been here. for that suggestion. Hope you guys have a good day i'm gonna shut it off right now but i hope you guys have a good rest of your day hope you enjoyed some of the nice wet weather oh okay okay all right you guys have a good rest of your day we will talk to you later bye